Welcome back to another day of the 30 day sketchbook project. Today we are on day 18. And this exercise, I thought it was just a drawing exercise, but it's not actually. It's just, it's about um, drawing on toned paper. So I don't know if you remember a while back, if you've watched some of the previous videos, I did this one on black paper, trying to do a bubble. It didn't come out very well, <laughs> but um, it was really interesting drawing on black paper, getting the chance to use colours you wouldn't ordinarily use if you're drawing on a very light paper. So this is the same, we're drawing a nose and we are doing it on toned paper. Now, I did not realise I needed toned paper before I did this exercise and I'm not at home at the moment, so I haven't got access to my supplies. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw, whoopsie, banged the camera. I'm just going to draw on the back, um, the inside back cover of the sketchbook. I'm going to really try my best with this one because sometimes what I do is I don't, if I don't like the exercise, which I don't, I don't like this, I, I can't, I can't stand doing stuff like this, but I am going to try my absolute very best and I'm just going to time lapse it so you can see what's going on, but um, I'm not going to talk during it because it's just going to be loads of me saying, oh, I'm not happy with that, I'm not happy with this and I am trying <laughs> to not do that anymore. Um, because I have realised that that is a theme in a lot of my videos. I'm never happy with what I do. Um, so this time I'm just going to look for the things that I do actually like, and we'll talk about that at the end when I'm finished. Okay, so that's finished, <laughs> but as per usual, I'm not exactly happy with, overall, it's okay, I think it's all right, but this this blending here, I, I don't like, um, I just find it's too, it's too one colour, um, not one colour, it, it goes from brown to blue and white very quickly. I mean, it's the same in her book, in a way, but look, I don't know if I can get a bit closer, you can see that, you know, there's browns in here and blue there. It's not, it's not a line. Mine is more of a line. Um, so maybe if I can blend it in a bit more, you know, don't know. I don't really, if I'm honest, actually like this idea of using the blue. She did that with the bubbles as well. Um, if there are any artists out there watching this, could you let me know if this is actually a, a proper technique, you know, using the blue? If, is there something else I can do differently rather than this blue because I don't like it? Or is that just what you do? But just have a bit more skill when blending it in, if you know what I mean, you know? Anyway, I've tried to blend that a bit more. Okay, so it wasn't as bad as I thought, actually. This activity was not as bad as I thought. I was so dreading it, but uh, I did that in no time at all. It was quite quick. So obviously, as with all her exercises, there are further prompts that you can do. So she tells you some other things to do, and then she shows you what she did in her sketchbook to give you more ideas, uh, which is, you know, really nice. And I think... At another point, once I'm through with this, um, with the whole project, I will go back to uh, particularly, you know, like this was one of the very early sketches. And I think that was the one where I did the uh, one of the early exercises It's the one where I did the trees. And then she had some really good activities that you could do after like trying with a bird. So a super quick bird, a medium quick bird and then a, a long bird, you know, taking by super quick. I mean, this is 30 seconds. That was three minutes and this is 27 minutes, you know. Um, and they all of them have these sort of further development activities in there, but I haven't been doing it just because I've wanted to kind of get through the project. But I think it would have been useful for me to to actually maybe work on each thing a bit more before moving on to the next thing, 
because I haven't really been building up the skill, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't feel I'm any more skillful now than when I started. So I bought this book. Uh, it's called Soul Colour and it's a 10 week watercolour painting course to cult cultivate mindfulness and creativity. And I thought this would be good because I wanted to pick up some, some sort of skill and practice watercolour a bit more. And this just looked really interesting. I really liked the sort of mindfulness, soulful aspect of it. So I thought, OK, yeah, I'll get that and I'll, I'll try that. And, I've, and it's come, you know, I got this uh, maybe a month ago and, you know, the activities look quite nice. They're quite like you know this sort of blending of things and the the vibe of the book but someone left a comment on my last video and and thank you so much so she mentioned this book she said she has this she's she's worked up until day 14 a project 14 or day 14 whatever it is um and uh, you know, it must be going really well for her, for her to have kept it up. And I got this and, oh my God, it's just so beautiful. Look at it. Look at these. Look at these. So the reason why I like this, and I think, and you might might have mentioned this, but it's more of a build up of skill. I can't remember if you did say that, but, or, or whether I read up on the book and it said it in the blurb, but you know, in each, so this is the first exercise and it builds up as she does say, start at the beginning and work your way up because there's skill being built um, in every single one. And she tells you, you know, the skill that you're acquiring in this one is how to break down your subject into basic shapes, you know, so you've got your two circles here, for example, when you're looking at the overall aspect of the day daisy and then this one is how to make your subject look hairy now i'm not sure that i actually quite agree that this looks hairy but nevertheless the point is that you are building skill on each one how to paint a smooth gradient and stuff like that so once i finished with with minnie's project before sort of going deeper into the book and you know the prompts and stuff that she has put in there i think i'm gonna start working with the watercolor aspect of things i'm gonna get myself some nice watercolor brushes and i'm going to um start doing this so we'll see how that goes so what have we got for our next activity it is one that i'm actually quite looking forward to uh this one so we are going to be painting oceans and skies and i would love to be able to paint this sort of thing so i'm really very much looking forward to this what what medium does she use is this acrylic Blue coloured pencil, gouache paints. Oh, I don't have any. Is that how you pronounce it? Gouache, gouache. I don't have those. Maybe I'll buy some. If I don't buy them, then I might try this in watery acrylic instead because I still have all my acrylic paints. But anyway, yep, yeah, I will see you again next time.